Good evening. There are urgent calls tonight for more police at Perth night spots after a teenager had his teeth knocked out and a young man was glassed on a nightclub dance floor. The 26-year-old needed 30 stitches for a 20-centimetre gash to his neck. Now police need public help to catch his attacker. Blink and you'll miss it. Watch as a glass is thrown at close range in the heat of the dance floor, striking this 26-year-old man in the neck. The crowd at market grounds oblivious to the near life-threatening injury that has just been inflicted. A massive slash, there was significant blood loss. He's uh, got a wound about 20 centimetres in length, required 30 stitches to fix. But the weekend was far more violent. Exclusive pictures of another assault less than a kilometre away that same morning on James Street, Northbridge. This 19-year-old man is losing consciousness after a street fight, his blood spilling onto the pavement. He's lost several teeth from his head hitting the concrete. Paramedics working to safely stretcher him away, fearing he's suffered a neck injury. Police questioned two men in their 20s, but the attacker is on the run. And the thug wanted over the glassing, still out there too. We have a um, person that we believe, a male person pictured here. The mystery man captured leaving the scene of the crime just after midnight Saturday. In the hours to follow, another three arrests on James Street, a woman and two men taken away by police. We've got an escalating problem and the government is not managing it. The opposition has the statistics to back it up. Assaults in Northbridge are up 39% on last year, a staggering jump to figures we haven't seen since 2010, while sex assaults have more than doubled in 12 months. Out of control and the government needs to resource police appropriately. We asked Police Minister Michelle Roberts to respond to that and her people told us to go ask police. So we did and I can tell you officers on the beat say they are critically understaffed in the Perth district. In fact, Tomo, one senior police officer tells me that two Friday nights ago they were down 28 officers. That is huge and if they have any hope of curbing this violence crisis, they say that's just not enough. They are frightening statistics. Jerry, thank you.